Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have a breaking story coming out of Syria. According to Sputnik News, uh, the U.S.-led coalition has struck a ISIS facility, a weapons facility, near Del Azor, uh, the region of Syria there, where the attacks had happened against the Syrian government there uh, last year in that region there. And it was... Uh, housed chemical weapons from right now from what Sputnik is reporting hundreds have died as a result of this uh, airstrike done by the US co uh, led coalition uh, still we don't know any other further updates other than that also we've been looking again into this uh, issue we reported yesterday about uh, North Korea doing an evacuation of Pyongyang now that as we reported yesterday also this is not a complete evacuation of the city it was a, it was a relatively low percentage I think like 20 or 25 percent of the population was to be evacuated Pravda.ru the English language also reporting this same story and I also found a Chinese journalist who is part of the foreign journalists that are there he mentioned that they were being uh, moved into another area was not going to be told where they were going they were going to be evacuated at six something this morning and that uh, they could not take cell phones or anything with them now thus far we have not seen anything else about this it seems like the celebrations that uh, North Korea is doing is ongoing today but there again the evacuation was not the entire city and they're saying that it seems to be normal there and the people very defiant now also the Japanese are joining the United States there in the uh, in the region there for a possible strike on North Korea China also calling for a calm and saying that they would defend North Korea if North Korea would stop its nuclear program. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. A quick take of our broadcast.